Dresden is a pretty huge city so I decided to travel again towards Dresden to be able to discover more of its beautiful sites that we can explore, visit, and enjoy. I really love traveling because it's so relaxing. You can find a lot of beautiful scenery in every place that you can pass through. But it suddenly rained during this time so I decided to go into a cafe and the pastries that they sell are very delicious. So while waiting for the rain to stop, I had a coffee first. When the rain had stopped, I started walking and exploring the area. Luckily, I had my blue umbrella with me. I was happy to see the environment. On the bridge where I walked, you can see the very scenic surroundings. This place is known as Luschwitz. It is still part of Dresden. In this area can be found a Seilbahn. The Dresden Funicula is a driverless funicula operating in Dresden, which is operated on the 26th October 1895 with steam operation and was converted to electric operation in 1909. The trip with the funicular takes 5 minutes. It is in operation on weekdays from 6.30 a.m. to about 9.30 p.m. On weekends and public holidays, the operation only starts from about 9 a.m. The trip takes place every 15 minutes on weekdays between 6.30 a.m. and 8.10 every 10 minutes. The two wagons are connected by a 578 meter long and 38 mm thick rope which is driven and deflected in the mountain station. The cars are accelerated and braked over the rope. To adapt to the inclination of the road, the compartments of the wagons are laid out in step form. Since the start of operation, four generations of cars have been in use. In normal operation, the track is electrically accelerated and braked. In an emergency, it can also be brought to a standstill by disc brakes. Both drive discs are equipped with a brake ring on which an operating brake and a safety brake acts in the case of use. In the case of a rope tear, automatic safety brakes from the vehicles act on the rail and bring them to a standstill. After I visited and experienced the Zeilbahn, I decided to go to the neighboring place called Pilnitz. It is famous for its Pilnitz Palace. The bus stop is located at the opposite side on the Zeilbahn station. It took me approximately 20 minutes to travel towards Pilnitz Palace. Along the way, you will see the, the huge fruit and vegetable garden and other beautiful sites. So Pilnitz is a restored baroque castle at the eastern end of the city of Dresden in the German state of Saxony. It is located on the right bank of the river Elbe in the former village of Pilnitz. It was the summer residence of many electors and kings of Saxony. It is also known for the declaration of Pilnitz in 1791. The complex consists of three main buildings, the Riverside Palace on the right riverfront and the Upper Palace on the hillside and the later Neoclassical New Palace, which links them together on the east side. The buildings enclose a Baroque garden and are surrounded by a large public park. Today, the buildings house the Arts and Crafts Museum or Kunstgewerbe Museum of the Dresden State Art Collections and Schloss Museum. And before I'm going to end this video, allow me to say that life is full of wonder. Even if we are in the point in life where we cannot appreciate things, it sometimes helps to remember that there are really things to enjoy when we are ready. So let us seize every moment as they come with open hearts and arms outstretched to embrace the possibilities that lie before us. This is Johnny's channel. Until my next travel, cheers!